When the astronauts went up into space and they're coming back and they see the gorgeous sphere, which is the Earth, many, many astronauts of all nations had an epiphany. The barriers of nations, of race, the barriers of religion were all one. And that is the purpose of mindfulness. Let's spread that amazing story. And as we go around the world today, we see this strife and we see that strife and we see this calamity and these hardships. In one generation, we have the opportunity to change that paradigm and spread mindfulness and meditation. And together, they can't stop us from saving the world. The brutality of conflict leaves an indelible mark on those brave men and women who defend our country. Chronic pain, depression, these were the things that showed up for me when I uh, separated from the service. There's things wrong with you that you don't even know. And I'm starting to get choked up. It all began when on my first deployment in Afghanistan as a pilot and one of the crew chiefs who I had known, he was sent home and a week later I found out that he had committed suicide. The toll of military life can echo through veterans for decades. I ended up with prostate cancer, high blood pressure, all, all the Agent Orange stuff. All I knew was something changed in me and it never went away and I didn't know who to go to. Therapy, when it's available, can provide temporary relief but it often leads to a reliance on self-medication to the point of no return. Medication stopped working. Um, I was in a dark, dark place. Uh, it was actually a lot of fear. I had a fear of letting go, of not being really fused with my thoughts. Homelessness, alcoholism, addiction, and shattered dreams are often the result. Failed marriages, failed relationships, failed with your children. It's been a hard life. Bullets and bombs damage the body, but the experience can damage the soul and the brain. I got injured, I had multiple injuries, a head trauma, severe, and it just knocked everything out. Everything was scrambled or was just not there anymore. 22 veterans commit suicide every day. Veterans make up nearly a tenth of the adult population, but they're 18% of all suicides, more than twice the recorded suicide rate. We need to act now. Visionary Sam Beard, who has initiated and chaired public service programs for eight presidents of the United States, is addressing the veterans' issues with a new mission. We're gonna think big. Yes, we can. We can take mindfulness and meditation and really create a national program uh, which will impact 10,000 veterans. The name for it is the gift. The idea behind it, multiplying mindfulness worldwide. Every single person in this room has experienced a kind of suffering that is very unique, significant health issues, some of which are life-threatening. Meditation, which leads to mindfulness, is being used to combat trauma by this group of veterans in Wilmington, Delaware, under the guidance of Dr. Jenna Tedesco. The bad news is that if you've had traumatic stress, your brain is, is changed. So it's almost impossible without changing the brain back. Most psychotherapies happen verbally. They happen with you trying to talk your way into being a different way, not mindfulness. Mindfulness happens because your brain platforms you to be able to be different because your brain is different. The results of mindfulness, both mental and physical, are astonishing. I know I used to have a, a really uh, a, a, a temper. I mean, things that get under my skin and really let me, let me go off onto it. But since I've been doing this, and I've been doing this for quite a while, it, you really get to look at something in a different way. I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. And it's because of that woman right there and what she started me on down the road. And uh, I'm getting emotional, but you know, it means a lot to me. <laughs> but I saw the immense changes in Vietnam veterans who had gone through decades of suffering. 
decades of suffering. I was angry, then there was joy, then there was excitement, and then I wanted to tell all the things I felt and saw. I am so pleased that I have mindfulness in my life that it hurts me when other people don't have it. For, for me, it's a real freedom. It's a real uh, freedom to not be trapped into believing those thoughts. Helps me combat anger. Mindfulness helps me with my body, with my aches, my pains. It, it's really helping me keep uh, a sense of sanity. I don't use any opiates. I don't use any alcohol at all because I don't want to anymore. And it just gets better and better and better. And uh, I'd be lost without it. Some have thrown away their medication and have discovered an ability to repair themselves, to find a kind of normalcy again. Gone is the haunting darkness that once surrounded their day-to-day -day existence. Using their own minds to achieve a state of mindfulness, they have a newly found inner peace. If we don't do this for these people, shame on us as a country. Shame on us. Shame. The Gift. Be the Gift. www.bethegift.org